Hi fellow YouTubers, I'm going to make a video today to discuss and um, help you guys out there who may have bought this um, Mastercraft airbrush compressor with an airbrush kit from Canadian Tire. So when I bought this particular kit, um, I was still very new to airbrushing and didn't know, know too much. Um, and after much, uh, a few times airbrushing, I realized that you actually need to be able to regulate the pressure on this uh, unit. So the unit that you buy does not come with a regulator, right? So what I had to do was actually try to add it in without needing to change this portion itself. According to the manual, um, it says that there is actually a small little um, screw here that you can actually release to release the um, pressure and then you'll be able to uh, spray at a lower uh, pressure. However, upon doing that, you actually, um, the compressor keeps kicking in and the air will keep dissipating out here. So actually, it does not um, lower the pressure per se. What I then did was um, I actually called our master craft, spoke to our customer service and asked them if can this unit actually regulate the pressure. And after much search, searching and asking his superior, he told me actually you cannot. So I said, could I return this? He said, mm, maybe yes, maybe no. So I thought, let me try doing this um, to find a way to actually um, install a pressure regulator here. One way uh, was is actually to remove this whole unit and replace it one with a regulator at the top here but I thought I did not want to uh, waste this unit here it already has a moisture trap so why not try to find a way so after speaking with um, some of my um, Gunpla friends um, he actually said why don't you add in an inline um, regulator so what I did was then I went to um, uh, Princess Auto to actually buy the parts now I actually attempted to do this once and it failed and then uh, one of the reasons is was because I installed this portion here which I'll explain later right right after this unit this unit originally sits here right but upon that when you connect this line right the, the air um, airbrush line in it starts leaking so it does not contain the, pr the, the pressure so I thought Hmm, it doesn't work. So I, in, I disinstalled the whole thing and I, I thought I wanted to return the parts to uh, Princess Auto. Then, after about, I thought about it, why not I try the other way? So that's why if you look at this new uh, way I installed it, it's actually I removed this and put this regulator before um, the moisture trap and the gauge. So in other words, I unscrewed this guy from here. If you look at the picture, it's, it was in originally here, right? You can see here. I'm sorry. So originally it's all it's located here or basically at this point, right? So what I did was then I I I um, disassembled this and then what, what you need to do is because this particular screw here is a one eighth, right? So I had to buy a one eighth to one fourth connection because this particular air pressure regulator screw head here is one fourth. So this is a one eighth to one fourth. Um, and then you, you can connect in here and then here one fourth into one eighth again all right so and then here rightfully you actually put in a gauge like here you can put in a gauge here but because uh, you want to read the temperature uh, the pressure as it comes out here i actually did not i actually use a plug a one eighth plug to actually plug the hole here so once i put this setup here again sorry this is a one eighth to one eighth right because this connector here is a one eighth to one fourth because this particular um, pressure regulator here is a one fourth uh, quarter connection and then here is another one quarter to one eighth because this particular guy here this screw is one eighth so basically i had to buy one 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 eighth to one eighth one eighth to one fourth one fourth to one eighth and then connector so basically three connectors here and then a one eighth plug to connect here um, I'll write in the descriptions later on. So when I put it up this way, in this type of setup, now um, it seems like the pressure regulator works. Let me see and I'll connect it and you can have a look. 
Okay, let's just focus here on the... Yep. So now you put it, screw it in. Usually this, um, at maximum, it always is at, I think, uh, which is it? Uh, 78 PSI. So now you turn it on. You can see now it's at uh, 20 PSI because I regulate. So if I turn this dial, if you look at it, the increase is to the right and counterclockwise is to decrease. So if I start increasing this, you can see that the, the pressure goes up back again. And if you put up maximum, it goes back to the original uh, maximum PSI that you can ask. I think it's probably 45. Yeah, sorry, 58, sorry. Okay, so we have seen that the pressure can be regulated. So now let's turn the pressure down. Let's say you want to spray it metallics. You can actually need to go it to about 15, about 20 or 15 to 20. So now you can see the dial can, can go up. Well, if not, with, without a regulator, this is always at 58. So now you see with the, the airbrush. Oops. So that one thing you need to know is sometimes if you turn it too much, it actually um, brings out the pressure to almost zero. So like now, you should be spraying at 15. So this will be good to spray metallics, chromes, etc. etc. So now I think um, I've, been, I've solved the issue of not being able to regulate the um, uh, pressure on a Mastercraft um, uh, airbrush kit. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you. Um, so this just show you here, this is the uh, ProPoint air pressure regulator, which is this one um, that I bought from Princess Auto. It's got a one quarter, one quarter and one eighth here because the thing is, um, our for this particular unit is using one eighth. So that's why you need to have all these connectors in there. I'll put the um, uh, description below. It's not too difficult. You can just you just use a normal wrench to open this all up. Most important, use Teflon tape here as you screw it in, so you get a good connection, uh, good screw. And then this particular one, you need a key to actually put this uh, plug in. That's it. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps you. Especially, I don't see any videos out there teaching people how to actually add a regulator to a Mastercraft um, um, airbrush kit. Hope this helps. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.